Hello and welcome to my channel and today I've got for you a Primark haul. It was my birthday recently and I got a Primark voucher and some cash. So I've been and spent it all on the goodies here. So I just do the subscriber bit and everything at the start. If you enjoy this please do give me a big thumbs up and if you're not already a subscriber maybe you might consider hitting that golden button once you see my video. Right, where do we start? I'm going to start with some shoes. So I love the ballet pumps in Primark and I've got some similar to this. Uh, they only last about a year or two years. When I saw these I thought, oh, they are just my cup of tea. Um, so first of all, we'll start with the black. I've gone for a size four in the wide fit because I do, I am, I'm really a five, but if I wear the fives, they stretch and then they're too big. But when you go for a wide fit, I do find I can size down in them. So they are these lovely sort of ballet pumps with a bit of a shimmer. Uh, six pounds for those. So they're black and silver. And I also thought I'd like these as well. So these are white and silver. Exactly the same again. I do struggle to get lighter um, pumps. These are for more like, you know, holidays and things. Yeah, I really like those feel a bit like Dorothy with the ruby slippers. Had a look in the Christmas section and I might have already shown you this on another haul because I've ended up buying another one. One of the lovely stars. I bought two big ones a couple of months ago and um, really like them. And I've got them at either end of a big window and in the middle I'd got like a wooden heart, um, similar sort of to the rattan, but I thought I'm gonna go for the smaller sized heart. So the bigger ones I think were, eight pounds this one was four pounds fifty so for christmas we're gonna have a trio of stars you may recall this on another haul so i bought this absolutely loved it didn't realize it was sort of an end of line thing uh his pajama top sorry and um i couldn't get the shorts anywhere i've been in two or three different primarks so in the end i took it back and I absolutely loved it, love the colour of it. I'd have preferred it to be a little bit bigger because I won't try it on again, but last time it was, it wasn't small, but it could have done with being a bit bigger. Anyway, it was reduced again, so I thought I've got to buy it. Got it for a pound. <laughs> so originally it was eight, then I paid four pounds. I'm not saying it's the exact same one. I paid four pounds, took it back, got my four quid back, and now I've bought it for a pound. So I was really pleased. You know my love of these, the rib tops with either the high necks or the roll necks and I've not got one in this colour it's like an off-white or a cream not quite cream more off-white I'd say what does it say ivory in fact um yeah just a nice rib top I'm going to keep this one for best the others I wear for work but I want this one to go under different items um I've got a couple of um oh what do you call them the shackets well no shirt like a lumberjack shirt i've not really got anything to go under them so these have been um price hiked they are now eight quid they're only six quid last year got a couple more of the vest tops um I, i've gone over to these racer back ones the wider strapped ones i always used to wear the um the little thin ones uh, the thin strapped vests and i got one in the summer in this color it's like um oh, it's lovely Oh, what's the colour? Like like cornflower blue. And the one I bought ripped at the seam and I didn't still have the receipt, so I couldn't take it back and I've not seen another one in the shop since because it was obviously summer stock. But they've got it in the wider one. So I thought, well, I do love that colour. I'm going to get that. So I got that in NXS 6 to 8 and that was 2 50 And then I saw a pink one. So, of course, I bought that one as well. Beautiful fuchsia pink. Really like that colour. It's beautiful. Look at that. Right, we'll start the new obsession of the Converse shoes. Well, Primark's fake Converse. I am obsessed with them. I think I've talked quite a lot on this channel about how many hooded tops I've got. Well, I'm now going to get a pair of Converse to match each hooded top, colour-wise. I love them. They're such good value. So, I've got a few pairs to show you in this haul. So, I bought these on different occasions, and sometimes I forget which colours I've bought. So, I've got a bit of an obsession with blue at the moment so originally i bought the high tops because i've actually got some of the converse high tops in gray i've worn them to death and they're about ready to chuck out and i think they're about 50 60 quid now these are eight pounds um so rather than gray i've gone for this sort of blue which i think will go really nice with denim jeans 
so um, I do size down in these as well in a four so I've gone for the blue high top there when I went back into a different Primark yesterday they had them in the normal trainers and there's a little sticker on there so these are a slightly different I hope that colour's coming up. They're slightly different. They're more, they're a little bit darker. They're a little bit lighter. That might be ex my excuse to keep them. So these should have only been six pounds anyway, but they're half price, three quid. How can you go wrong with that? Oh. But my favourites are these. I've got two pairs. So Alan and I went away to Milton Keynes the other week for my birthday. Um, I'm from Leicester, he's from Essex. So when we were very, 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 very first met, we met halfway in Milton Keynes. So it also always holds quite a, a dear place in our hearts. So we went back for the night and there was a big Primark. So I was absolutely chuffed. Anyway, when I was going round, I spotted these. So these are another pair of the high top, but they're like faux leather. But I like these because they've not got any of the colour on the bottom. They're just plain white. And then like I say, that... In fact, it's a bit like that top, more of an ivory colour. And I wore them, and I like them so much. I loved how they look. I thought, I'm going to get another pair, because you can, you just know when these wear out, I won't be able to get them again. And the reason I got another pair was because they were both in the sale. So only £8 anyway, and I got both pairs, £4 each. So of course I had to buy some socks to match. All different blues and creams and neutrals, love those. Uh, how much were they? £3. I think they put the price of socks up. I think they used to be £2.80. But yeah, they're a nice little bundle. And then a pack of nails. In fact, these will match as well. Oh, you're down for 50, to 50p from £1.50. Then I saw this top, and this has got my name all over it. In fact, they had it in like a almost a burnt orange, which caught my attention. And then I thought, mm, would I really wear that? Probably not. Have I got any need for this at the minute? Probably not. But it's one of those tops that will never go out of fashion and because it fits me so well it's just a top that i know i can keep in my wardrobe for years to come not necessarily to wear it at the moment so you know i love a high neck um it's a almost a shiny material slightly ribbed and then it's got this lovely ruching down the front and then up to the neck i thought that was absolutely gorgeous uh got it in my normal size xs six to eight and that was that was eight pounds. Look at that, thing of beauty. Then on to the bits in the background. I'm not sure if I can justify keeping three coats, all of the same colour, but I love them all. Right, let me show you them. I've got a black one of these. It's a Parker in a packet, I think it's called. Well, they call it a packable Parker now. But mine's in black. I bought it in the sale and it's too small for me. Um, I can wear it, but only open. It's too small. Here's a little bag that it comes in. So I love this colour. It's like um, sort of a khaki green. It's really nice. So I got that in my normal excess. That was £10 and that is a shower resistant jacket. Right, what I'll do, I think I'll pop it on for you right now. So not necessarily to go over set a tie that I'm wearing now, I've got like lounge wear on, but that is the jacket on. It's so it's got a nice big hood and then it's got the little bag that you uh, pack it up into. But what I like about this, it's got drawstrings at the side so you can cinch it in a little bit. It's got the zip. It goes all the way up, as do all zips. Um, yeah, so you can cinch it in a little bit at the waist, which I think is rather delightful. It's got real pockets with poppers that I can't pop open. There we go. Yeah, £10, that's lovely. And then, like I say, it just packs away into that little bag. So it's great. Um, I don't know. I might even keep something like this at work. It's great just having your wardrobe when you don't need a big coat on. So like today, I've got all my clothes on underneath, but I might need something when it's raining. So yeah, that's that one. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of that. This next one is the reason why I actually went into Primark because I'd seen this on another YouTuber's channel. I've already got one in dusky pink and I wore, I've worn it a lot, absolutely love it. But I love this stone color. Look at this. It's gorgeous. 
So these used to be like the packable ones as well. You got a little bag with them, but I think they've stopped doing that. So these, this is, uh, it's actually shower resistant. It's got recycled materials in it. But yeah, it's just a little puffer with arms. They're ever so warm, ever so lightweight. If this is your sort of thing, I would definitely recommend getting one because they keep you really warm, but they're very, very light. So comfortable. So I've gone true to size in this one. Again, I'm not sure if I'd wear it on, on over a big sweatshirt like I've got on today. Probably more like a, a long sleeve t-shirt, but yeah, I love that. And they're quite slim in, going at the sides, a little bit fitted. But I know I'll get a lot of use out of that because I've worn my other one. So really happy to have purchased that. And then finally this Crombie, I absolutely love this, but I don't know whether I'm gonna get enough use out of it to keep it. I haven't really got a nice smart jacket, so I'm thinking I may well keep it as well. So colour-wise, it's, uh, this has got a bit of blue in it, as well as the creams, and mm, I think that's grey rather than black, the colours that are going through it but I've had to really size down in it. I found them to be rather large. So I've actually got a size four and it was 28 pounds. I'll pop it on for you. Uh, yeah, normally I would get in a coat an eight or a 10, probably usually a 10 actually. And I tried the different sizes on and it absolutely drowned me. And because I want it to be quite fitted, obviously again, and not with this top, um, that's why I've sized down. So as you can see, it's still at this size. It's not oversized by any uh, stretch of the imagination, but it's, I've got a big thick sweatshirt on under this. Yeah, but I'm actually thinking now, what would I wear underneath it, whether I'd need a bigger one? I wouldn't know, I wouldn't go out in a sweatshirt like this with a coat on like this. Anyway, so that's it. Um, it's not too long. I get a bit, I get drowned sometimes by coats because I'm only five foot three, but this comes just above the knee. It's got pockets. I think you have to rip them open. It's not, they're not, uh, are they pockets? Don't know. They might be fake pockets actually. No, they're not. They are. They're the ones that you rip. Um, yeah, I don't know if it would have been better with one more button. Again, let me know in the comments below what you think on that. The shoulder pads aren't too big, so it's it's very, it's quite flattering, I think, for a coat, as coats go. It's not overly thick, so it, you know, it's not a proper winter coat. It is more of a smart, smart jacket. So this would be nice. You know, say you were going to a winter wedding and just needed a, a smarter coat, but yeah, I love it. So 28 quid, so yeah. Let me know in the comments down below whether I should keep that or not. Bearing in mind I've got those other two now as well. I have already got quite a few coats. Anyway, that's it. Hope you've enjoyed that one. I've really enjoyed filming that because it's had some different bits in it. What a lovely birthday splurge I've been able to have. Yeah, I mean, looking at this jacket now, up close, I quite like it. Anyway, I'm gonna get going. I can't remember if I did all the subscribe bits at the beginning, but I'm sure I did. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.